Hello, it's Carly from Learn English with Carly and thank you again for joining me here today in downtown Vancouver. It's a beautiful summer's evening, so there are lots of people milling about. That means just walking around, strolling around, enjoying the last of the hot weather before autumn arrives. Okay, are you a workaholic? Have you ever stayed in a motel? Do you fancy getting brunch tomorrow? The words workaholic, motel and brunch are known as portmanteau words or word blends. They are super useful to learn as you will certainly hear and see them in your English learning. A portmanteau or a word blend is made by blending two words or two parts of words and their meanings together. These words are often created in order for us to describe a new invention or a new phenomenon. Let's look at five examples of portmanteau words or word blends together today. Word blend number one, breakfast and lunch, brunch. Let's look at some examples of using the word brunch. The restaurant is open for dinner and weekend brunch. Do you want to go for brunch tomorrow? Let's do brunch on Saturday. Word blend number two, work and alcoholic workaholic a workaholic is someone who is addicted to working they work long hours and they find it difficult not to be working again let's look at some examples with different tenses tom is a workaholic he works all hours of the day jane's father was a workaholic and this led to bad health are you a workaholic Word blend number three, motorway and hotel is motel. Now a motel is a type of hotel that is found usually on a roadside. It's noisy seagulls. A motel is usually a low building with parking directly outside of the room. You may have seen a motel on American or Canadian film or movie. I have stayed in a few motels and they are super convenient if you're on the road traveling. So, have you ever stayed in a motel? The sign outside the motel said, no vacancies. We checked into a motel for the night. I'll be staying in a motel when I visit next week. Words blend number four, 14 and night is fortnight. Now this is exclusively British English. The word fortnight is not used here in Canada. Not that I know of anyway. Um, it means a period of two weeks, so 14 nights. I hope to be back in a fortnight. We've spent the last fortnight in Scotland. I'll see you in a fortnight. And I saw this on a competition on British TV. It said, First prize is a fortnight in Barbados. I wouldn't mind winning that prize. Okay, and today our fifth word blend. If you can't afford a fortnight away, then perhaps you can take a staycation. Stay plus vacation, staycation. Now, although vacation is a Canadian and American English word, Brits still use the word staycation when they want to explain that they are holidaying at home or in their home country. Let's look at some examples of staycation in use. Staycations have become more and more popular. My friends went abroad this year, but my family took a staycation instead. Okay, there we have it. Five portmanteau or word blend words. Hopefully you will find these useful to you, certainly in your reading and your listening skills, but do try and write them and say them when you have the opportunity to do so. On that note, please write me some comments to practice using these words. I will reply to every single comment that is written. I really appreciate you taking the time to comment and I look forward to seeing what you've got to say. Okay, that's it for me here on a beautiful evening in downtown Vancouver. I wish you a great day wherever you are and I look forward to working with you again very soon. Bye.